the work that I do is very simple. The simplicity of it is that it's every man's inherent right to know and do this. And more than the right to know and do this, to have the conscious awareness that you're doing it. And that is soul transcendence, or properly called soul travel, and erroneously called astral travel. When the energy of the soul moves in us, that soulic movement, out of nowhere, independent of the thought and how we feel and what the body's been doing, joy comes up. And a happiness over nothing, often conveyed with giggling. <laughs> and try to stop it, and it gets worse because you can't suppress soul action energy. And when does that usually appear? In church when you're supposed to be quiet <laughs> or just about when you're ready to kiss your girl for the first time and you start laughing or you're kissing your boyfriend, whichever way that works. And it comes up as a complete irresponsibility to what you're doing on this level. It very frankly doesn't seem to care. The essence of the divine of the soul is connected to a greater essence called God. And that essence extends down to everybody as one energy. As amazing as it may seem, there's probably one line of electricity into this building with all these lights coming off it. And we say, well, that's a light, and that's a light, and that's a light. And so we can see them as individual in their action, in their reflection, but the energy behind it's one energy. The energy behind us in the soul is one energy.